things that ICT has done, really. I mean, now right. we need to kind of uh, look at. Suppose it, we yeah. need to <coughs> say what exactly are the real benefits of e-governance, so that our audience is not lost. And In fact, carry, so we are actually seeing that ICT uh, is enab is allowing for right. greater level of participation. That means internet and the mobile internet. technologies right, and mm. the networks, the state uh, area networks or whatever. Uh, mm. Suppose we leave the technique technology out of it, we are saying that we are now able to connect larger number of people mm -hmm. to one sure, another, sure. And larger so number of businesses to one another right. and everyone to the government. So the right. uh, what we are trying to say now is everything would have perhaps was possible in the agrarian times also or in the industrial revolution time also and computerization has also been happening for many right. years. Right. Uh, so what is new about e-government? Which, is, uh, which was not, uh, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. which is more mm -hmm. than computerization. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to say mm -hmm. that uh, there is, because of this internet and the e and the mobiles and all that, we mm -hmm. are able to, uh, like the mother example also, mm -hmm. transparently yeah. connect to one Transparently connect and, and uh, deliver efficiently also in right. a uh, service and level delivery point. Right. And, what and more number of services deliver in yeah. shorter time. Leaving all that out, I'm, we are saying that uh, if we are able to connect to one another, then there are additional benefits, benefits that come that will accrue. And those benefits are in the form of transparency, mm -hmm. for instance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as more and more citizens uh, uh, connect to each other and then they, they are able to comment on everything that is happening in, in the, mm -hmm. the country level, at the panchayat level, mm -hmm. at the state level, yeah. mm -hmm. then a culture of transparency, a culture of accountability and creeps into the and also good number of suggestions will come from the all the correct. stakeholders so to improve further exactly. the process part of sure. it. So one uh, good outcome of uh, e-governance, uh, whether it is whether right. it was designed that way or not, is that uh, governments are also forced uh, to, to, say to do some themselves up thing. to right become information more answerable, and other things. Exactly, to become mm -hmm. more answerable. Yeah. And sure. so we are creating a new value sure. system sure. Uh, sure. about which again uh, uh, around the society and the stakeholders and everyone. Mm -hmm. More importantly, I know today the government is very very interestingly spreading the message of e governance to the bottom level and trying to deliver large number of services. I know pretty well 350 services are being given to the uh, citizens of this country, sure. leaving alone the industry B two B or G two G part of it. Sure. I mean, yeah. That itself is a but good uh, spread out. Uh, uh, okay, there are a lot of pluses, you know, there are a lot right. of benefits from e-governance. But are there, Shall let's say, we had yeah. to uh, conclude our yeah. uh, discussion, right. the introductory. Yeah. Obviously, there is only an introductory <coughs> part, and <coughs> we'll discuss these in more detail in the time. But let's say we had to pick two or three uh, problems, issues.